women everywhere are on the front lines of change uh, for dignity, for economic opportunity, for human rights, uh, for uh, the kinds of things that we all want to see. And, and Ziba mentioned the, um, the efforts in Iran, very difficult place uh, in the various terrains that we're discussing here uh, after the last contested election. And I remember so vividly um, the face of that revolution was Nada. And this was a young woman who was killed out on the streets with so many others. And that face was beamed around the world. Uh, and in many ways, it was a wake-up call for much of the world of how active and how committed women are uh, to the kind of change that they want to see. Fast forward to the Arab Awakening. Uh, where women stood shoulder to shoulder with the men uh, without violence, uh, certainly initially from Tahrir Square uh, to Tunisia, across Libya, uh, Yemen, et cetera, uh, it, to the point where I was having many meetings as a government official in that part of the world. And I remember vividly in one of the regional meetings in Tunisia, uh, one of the men in the audience said to me, do you all realize how the role of women has changed and what the Arab awakening has represented uh, in terms of our perception in our own places, um, in terms of what that means for us, but also for all of you. Several years ago, the Arab intellectuals um, under the auspices of UNDP did a study called the Arab Development Report. And what that report showed uh, was that those countries that are hugging the bottom, that are the least developed in human development terms, uh, that are not making the kind of progress every nation I think wants to see itself make, are those where women are kept behind, where they are least educated, where they are not participating economically to the degree they can and in the ways they, they can, and they are certainly not politically empowered. And what the report said is until that changes, until women have that opportunity uh, to fulfill their God-given potential, you're not going to see the kinds of changes that these countries want to see uh, in the development that's important.